Hey everyone. Uh, we're here today uh, to talk about, uh, well, LaShawn and I were having a conversation about safety and, you know, crime. And there's, an, there's been an uptick in crime you know, all over the place, not just Ecuador. Uh, but we were just talking about the things that we do to try to stay safer. Obviously, we're not immune to you know any kind of crime or anything like that. Uh, but just the things that we do to stay a little safer and uh, be able to enjoy ourselves at the same time. Yeah, so we just wanted to share with you all. So for our viewers, if you're wondering about how people are staying safe or what to do to try to stay safe, um, basically, you know, just be aware of your surroundings and don't wear any flashy jewelry um, and, and don't have your phone out all the time. Just be aware of your surroundings because you never know who's watching you or it may want to target you. So whenever we're out, it, we very minimal take our cell phones out. Right, which is, which is why I don't post a lot of uh, videos of us when we go shopping or you know different places. Just because I don't really like to have my phone out uh, recording. Uh, it's just, it's, it's too obvious. And I'm taller than most of the people here. So it's just even more obvious. Um, <laughs> So, you know, typically we, we do things like we may not bring, we may only bring up one phone instead of both, or, you know, if we don't need to have a wallet on us, we won't. No. Um, and don't walk around with large sum of cash on you yeah. either. If you're going to the Mercado and you can kind of estimate how much you're going to spend, try to take just that amount. Yeah. And, and it's rare that we will go any one place. Uh, other than the grocery store and spend more than $20. Uh, you really don't need it. You yeah. know, if you're going to breakfast, you probably only need 10 or 15 bucks. Exactly. At the most. At the most. Uh, and that's all you need to take with you. There's no point in taking more than that, honestly. Especially if you're walking. Um, go also, ahead. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead. Oh, I was going to say also, uh, remain unpredictable. Um, don't, <laughs> don't have a routine yeah. where if you're going to a restaurant, uh, it's your favorite restaurant, and you go every day at 12 o'clock right. noon, and because someone can someone say, could be watching you. Yeah, say, oh, they go to this restaurant every day at noon, mm -hmm. or dinner at five o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. Not saying that would happen to you, not saying that it, you know, people haven't done it, and they got robbed. No, we're not saying that. We're just saying change it up, mm -hmm. and just don't be predictable about your travels? Um, the, way, the way that we live, uh, we're extremely unpredictable. Like yeah. I said, it doesn't make us immune. <laughs> no, it but, does not. But it does make us a little bit more difficult of a uh, Hopefully. target. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Because you know, we, there may be days at a time where we don't even step outside. No. It's not because we're afraid or anything. We just don't have a reason to. Um, yeah, we, we basically go out when there's a reason. Yeah, when there's a reason, we go out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, stay, stay safe. These are some of the same tips you'd have in the U.S. You know, you, we don't go out late at night. You know, we're not walking around two and three o'clock in the morning. We're not even walking around I mean, literally past, <laughs> usually after past eight at all. Yeah, that's rare. Uh, sun goes down. We're usually coming back home. Yeah, um, and that's just that's just a habit. We, kind of did the same thing in the U.S., honestly, most yeah, of the time, unless we were going out to the movies. And we were driving yeah. in cars. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, okay, there's no yeah. need to go out. It's 730, right. especially with daylight saving times when it got early, I mean, dark. Dark, late, and, and usually early. if we were out late, it's because we were out fishing. Or we went mm -hmm. to the movies. Oh, the movie, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, with being here, there, there has been an uptick in crime. And uh, one of the things they do here is, you know, a couple guys on a motorcycle pull up to you, rob you, take your phone, take your wallet. Take your shoes. <laughs> now, taking your shoes, whatever, I guess. I mean, that was one Anything. incident. They, they robbed the people of everything. They yeah. left them with nothing, yeah. even down to their underwear. Anything of value. It could be a, a, you have a nice dog, anything of value. Um, so you just got to be vigilant. Uh, and cautious. Try to, try to remain in the safer areas. Uh, if you can, and just uh, keep your head on a swivel. Uh, 
years of, of me working in, you know, adult, in the adult and, and, and juvenile corrections and being in the military, I kind of keep my head on the swivel a lot. Uh, so there are things that we both see and, and situations that we both avoid when we see that, you know what, it may not be the smartest idea. Right. Um, and you have to look at it like that. This isn't, we came here to live, not be on a mindless vacation, you know, for the rest of our lives. No, no. we want to live and enjoy ourselves. So yes. there's some, some precautions that we have to take like, to do that. Um, in a taxi, sometimes if you can uh, stay with the same taxi driver and have them uh, pick you up, because I think for an hour, it's like $10 mm -hmm. an hour. Um, it's, to, to us, it's worth paying that to have the peace of mind we have the same person that picks us up, wait on us, and drop us back off. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that you're able to afford, but if not, you know, just getting a taxi driver, getting what you need to get and get back out, grab another taxi driver, mm -hmm. just be safe. Yeah, and just, you know, if you are, uh, you know, out enjoying yourself, you wanna, you know, walk in the evening on one of the Mali cones here, uh, it's you can. We're not saying that it's not safe. No, we're not just saying actually. that there are things you do to uh, avoid, avoid avoid being a target, right? Whatever that may be. Because we get asked all the time, you know, what do you do for a safety? I always I use a crossover bag, um, and it's not big at all. It's about the size of a wallet. I don't carry credit cards. Um, like he said, we carry minimum. $10 um, where we're going. If I don't need my phone, I don't take my phone because we're together. I can only contact him. That would be the only person I can contact if we're out. So we're together. So I really don't try to take my phone. If you're going, I don't know, to the ATM, that is one thing you need to definitely be aware of surroundings. Don't go to the ATM around the same time. Yeah. Um, or the if, bank, you know, same time every day or every other day. Just yeah, don't make it a habit. No. And if you can find a different ATM, go to that ATM. If Even though there may be one down the street from you, don't go to it. Go to a different one. If you're going in a taxi, ask that taxi driver to drop you off at it. I mean, stop by another ATM so you can do whatever you need to do and then go on your way to wherever you're traveling to to avoid being in the same place all the time. Yeah, and um, especially as uh, you know, gringos down here, uh, we kind of stand out. Yeah. Um, so it's easy to spot us, and it's even easier to spot you if you have the same habit every day. Uh, so yeah, me, I definitely stand out. So I try not to do the same thing over and over again to protect both of us. Yeah. And it's, I mean, don't get us wrong, we enjoy ourselves. We walk the Malacan, we walk the beach, we walk through the um, city, um, going to different places. Yeah, the Mercados, you know, in the central area of Salinas and uh, La Libertad. Yeah. Um, we, we haven't felt unsafe. No. We're just saying that th these things do happen and you have to remain safe. And if you can buddy up with a, um, another couple or a friend, the more, um, the merrier because you got more eyes yeah. to um, help you look around or, you know, not be a target. Just, you know, be mindful. Mm -hmm. Don't be so careless. Yeah. Um, but we are enjoying ourselves, so don't get us, don't get it wrong. <laughs> well, we are yeah. definitely enjoying ourselves. We just want to put it out there that you definitely have to stay safe and be cautious and aware. So that's just our little tidbit. If you have <laughs> anything else, Steve, you would like to share? Nope, that was it. Um, you know, stay tuned. Uh, we're close to 500 subscribers at this point, and we really appreciate it. When we yes. get there, we'll be able to post things in the community tab. And uh, we really appreciate you guys uh, for joining us on this journey. You know, it, it, it actually feels really good. Yes, it does. And we love it here. So. Thank you for watching. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe.